As all puppies do, Olive loved to jump and pounce around. We noticed her walk wobbly and run sideways, but thought nothing of it other than how adorable it was, as puppies can be like that. Well, after her first exam, it turned out she may have a joint issue that can develop later in life. Eventually, this diagnosis went away, but as concerned pet owners, we wanted to try the dog DNA test to see if there were any potential genetic health risks we weren't aware of. Also, we wanted to learn more about Olive's ancestry. Olive's a mixed breed. We know Olive's parents are a poodle and a cavalier, but what about her ancestors? For example, we noticed compared to some cavapoos, Olive has a shorter muzzle, and so this got us curious. Perhaps there's more breed mixed that we don't know about. You ready for this? Gently rub the inside of the cheek. Are you tired of dry food? Will you only eat if you're hand fed? Does human food look a lot better lately? Well, look no further. Satisfy your hunger with customized proportion meal plan based on your age, weight, breed, and health goals. Cooked with fresh whole food ingredients you're sure to say yes to. Just open one pack and empty the whole thing into a bowl. Voila! The result? Olive the renowned piggy eater surprisingly now paces around her bowl waiting for her meal to be served and she gained two pounds within two weeks because she ate so well. Another bonus? Remember her smelly eye discharge? Well, it's reduced significantly. And I mean, significantly. We've changed out her food numerous times since we got her, but never had we seen a change in her smelly eye discharge. So this made us believe. One eternity later. So it took three weeks for the results to come back and we were able to confirm she's a F1 Cavapoo. Though I knew she was a Cavapoo, I'm surprised to see that no other breed was mixed further up the family tree. Two interesting things I wasn't expecting to learn is her wolfiness score and projected weight. Wolfiness score is the number of wild genetic markers that survive for centuries. And Mark says that most domestic dogs have a score of 1% while Olive's score is 0.3%. Her predicted weight is 17 pounds, which is surprising because we barely just got her to 13. Okay, now the scary part. Olive's health report showed she's inherited one health risk called the type 1 IVDD, which is a condition affecting the spinal disc that cushions between the vertebrae, meaning it can affect her movement. The health report further explained that we should watch out for her walking pattern, such as dragging of the hind limbs. Thankfully, she doesn't show any signs of these symptoms and the condition is treatable. But just to play safe, I'm going to send this report to the vet so they're aware of our findings and we can discuss on her upcoming appointment.